Hi, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Laura. I am a huge lover of makeup, especially indie makeup. Actually, all makeup. Who are we kidding? If that sounds intriguing to you, then please keep on watching. Today, I must, like, I think every time I sit down and I, I just get so excited to talk to you guys about the stuff that I pick out for you. But for today's video, I did get the Ace Boutte, and I think I'm saying it correctly this time, the Oceanic Palette. I'm just, I'm, <laughs> I'm excited. This gold, bronzy black. You know, I don't, I'm trying to get you to see. Aren't those colors awesome? I am really, really happy with these. The, I did a, my Prince, my Prince Vibe palette, um, which was the Ace Boutte in the Paradise Fallen with the reformulated palette. Oh, wow. That, I really love how the formula worked out for me. And I want, because I am a huge fan of these shades, even way more than purple. Oh, I mean, who are we kidding? Like, seriously. I'm going to... I haven't been too happy with my makeup looks lately, so I'm I'm going back to my basics and using smaller brushes. I don't know if I was kidding with these big pocket brushes I was using. Like a sea foam green type of looking shade. Oh yeah. pretty. Okay. I'm going to go on this side. Do the same thing. I'm just going to match it up. I'm going to take an even smaller brush. Like, I was not kidding you. I am... I am going to use the finest, smallest little brushes that I own. This is a little itty bitty, uh, here maybe you can see it with the white a little bit. This, like this was this size. And this one is the Mor Morphe times Jaclyn Hill. It's the GH39. It's a little pencil brush, but I am going to dip this bad boy into i do want to make that attach so i'm just going to go ahead and start that now to make it sure that it does attach to the bottom lash line because you want to darken it and like kind of keep it the same shade like the darkness lightness otherwise it's going to be a pain when you go back i'm going to do the same with the other side So I'm going to go underneath. I'm going to come back up here because this line is not the way I like it. I want it to be deepened up, but I kind of want to go under here to see where I'm lining up the bottom lash. Okay. 
that. I have no problem with the formula of these shadows. They're they're beautiful. Honestly, I'm not having any problems. Next to no fallout. I mean that. If you could see, that is all the pickup, which is nothing. That is nothing in the pan. So it's a nice, nice palette. And I've only put on two colors. <laughs> so on the bottom, like neon tight LG. I'm gonna put that on a that was my fault. On a little pointy stiff. So I'm gonna put it just right here. Even though I laid down that other color, but I want to kind of bring it in a little bit. I think I'm going to bring it down underneath a little bit as well. I would do more looks for you, but I'm trying to get like the palettes that aren't like brand, brand new, like already like shown to you and um, try to see what else is coming out so I can show you as well. I'm going to go in with Lagoon, it's the darkest blue in the pan, uh, in the palette. What? Oh, what, baby? What? What's the matter? Lagoon is in the bottom corner here, so I'm going to use that, and I'm going to go right in this corner here. It's incredible. I really like. It's really pigmented. I really like it. Um, and it's nice that you can build up the colors in these palettes and it does not get um icky <laughs> what's the word <laughs> it doesn't get icky it doesn't get patchy and that that's incredible and especially with this dark blue i'm really impressed they did a really kick-ass job reformulating i don't know what the heck happened before because i've never tried it but all i knew is there was a reformulation and now this is the second palette I've had with that reformulation tag on it. And I am, I actually, as much as I love the Paradise Fallen one, I love this one. This is, I really like the colors in here. But that's, but the thing is, it's my preference. I'm like, you know, that's how it goes. Really, it does. Oh, God, so beautiful. I'm going to do one more little pinch over here. Got that dark blue, that lagoon over here, and I want to bring it and blend it back into the Pacific color just slightly and see what's going on with that. Just as though it's not like, you know, boom, boom. Okay, I'm right there. I'm gonna do it again. I 
actually I might blend it down here a little bit while I'm at it because you don't want to have I don't know I like to have kind of like a little combo so it matches a little bit better Okay, I'm thinking I want to go back down on the bottom lash line. I use the Pacific down there, and I'm going to go down with the small, um, small little pencil brush again, and do the the lagoon, and darken that up. Oops. And once you get up here, I well, once I get up here, I like to then bring it inward to blend it up so it gets a little bit darker as well. And I'll come up with that other brush too. And it's, you know, depending on how dark you want it, how they, you know, it, you can always go back and forth 20 times just to get it to the way you like it. I'm going to do it on here. the same. And then up. And back. Okay. So I'm going to clean the, that other brush again. I'm going to blend that back a little bit. And I think that should be good for now. Okay. So I'm thinking, like, I couldn't decide because there, there's so many beautiful shades in here. But I think I'm going to go in with Mykonos. The Mikano shade is this greeny, it's like the sea foam greeny um, shimmer shade. <laughs> oh, Mikano's. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to spray my brush, though. I always do that. So I'm going to pick up the Mikano's. I think this is, this is going to be nice. I, wow. I mean, I haven't even sprayed it or put it on, just putting it on the brush right now. And I'm like, this is, this is so beautiful. I want to cry. I mean, look, this is honestly, I'm not even kidding. Like, this looks like it. Oh, God, it is really, oh, my God. I really, I'm, I really love the shade. Oh my God. Seriously. I, I know I love things, but not enough to make me cry. This is, wow. And it's going on really nice. It's, I'm really, really impressed. just kind of patting it back a little bit. Wow. I really, <laughs> I really like it. Wow. Super impressed. I mean, wow. I'm happy. I'm happy. This is such a pretty color. And to, to feel like it's already going to be awesome before I even put it on my eye because of how it went on the brush in there. And I didn't even spray it because I won't spray my brushes and then put them in there. Oh, my God. Man. This is incredible. I really love this shade. It's going on perfectly. I don't, you know, 
dear, if there's musicians out there listening right now, it's like the difference between a Gibson and, um, and an Epiphone or a Marshall and a Fender, you know, Ampeg. It's never mind. It's just a thing. <laughs> No, no. Okay. So pretty. Can you guys see the? Mm. I have no words in that. That's weird. Oh, Shay too. Because I loved the formula of this other one and I it just it's perfect. I'm gonna take it on a little tiny brush and I'm gonna spray it. Oops. This one kinda did fall out a little bit, but maybe just a different kind of brush. I'm gonna put it on my brow bone because I'm having fun. Yep. I like it. I'm just going to bring it up to that other green that I laid down at the beginning and bring it down to the this part right here. because I'm being wild so I'm gonna go since I have a point going back here I'm gonna take this and go all the way back and I'll it'll all blend and it'll be cool all right let me do that to the other side I'm going to blend it out a little bit so it's I want to put a color like in the middle but I don't want it to hmm, I should put that green let me see how that looks I don't like it the algae there is something to say about small brushes I'm so happy that I'm getting back to my groove again it just makes me feel better Okay. Hi, Jimmy James. What are you doing? Okay. And then I feel like this thing's on it. And just kind of run along like this. When I don't want them to really blend together. I just want them to kind of not look so like it's separated. I want it to kind of blend together. And you can kind of see it. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it did do it. So just as long as you want to make sure that your brush is clean, as clean as possible between the two each layer and I'm barely touching it. I 
I think I'm going to go back up and make the inner corner a little bit more in that LG. I'm going to make it a little bit more prominent right here since I put it out here as well. All right, and I think I have put one on the bottom lash line. I have put down um, the Pacific. I have put down a little bit of the lagoon, but I feel like if I I want to put a little bit of this one shade called Turtle. I haven't used it yet. I just that that might be nice to just. And then like, get it all together and have a nice flow blending it into that um, this side over here and into the, the inner corner green. What do we think of this look? I love I love the shades in here. I really do. This is Really excellent quality, beautiful, beautiful shade selection. It's an awesome color story. Um, I think they did an incredible job. Um, this palette runs $38.99. Excellent, excellent quality for $38.99. Things are haunted. We don't know. Um, so I love the palette. There is no question. I am absolutely head over heels over this palette. I'm very impressed for $38.99. You can get this quality. I have spent way more than this on crap. Crap. And I'm trying to figure out how is it possible for these brands that I've been finding, you know, Ace Ute, the, there's been a couple others that I'm going to show you coming up soon that I'm like, how is it this price? And people are charging 180, 150. And I'm like, for what palette? Are you kidding? I would understand if the quality was good. I haven't seen the quality that good yet. We're still waiting to see. So, let me know what you thought of the palette. Video. Oh, I put on lips is a mix white holes. It's not me, but it's just lip lipstick. And I love the shade. Definitely wonder tone to it, so it goes with my skin tone. Um, and I love it. So. Yeah, if you have any requests, uh, any comments, any suggestions, please, please, please do not hesitate. Comment down below. Leave me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. And I will see you on my next video. Have a great rest of the day.